A local high school teacher and coach died early this morning from COVID-19. Todd Shinar's family says he spent several weeks in the hospital fighting for his life. KXAN education reporter Alex Capriello spoke to his student athletes about how he'll be remembered. It wasn't really just about football to them. It was about life, really, how to become a man. It wasn't just X's and O's to 57-year-old Todd Shonar. Sure, football was a huge part of his life. He was an offensive coordinator at Connolly High School and played for Clemson back in the 80s. But his students say the legacy he leaves behind is just as much off the field as on. He made sure everybody was good. I mean, if you, if you had surgery, he would call you, he would text you. It was like the worst feeling in the world, you know, to hear that, you know, one of the coolest guys that I know uh, has passed away. His athletes called him tough, but caring. He would, you know, kind of like keep motivating you to come up and give him, give him what he sees. He, see, he saw a lot of things in us. I spoke to Shonar's wife, Julia. She says that he was in shape and healthy, but the coronavirus had hit him particularly hard. He had spent the last several weeks in the hospital on a ventilator. She still doesn't even know how he contracted the virus in the first place. Now that I've seen that, really anybody can get it, really. I thought, I used to think I would be untouchable. These students say they're now taking extra safety precautions and are encouraging their friends to do the same. Not only could I get it, but I can also be a carrier and hand it off to somebody else. And, you know, I definitely don't uh, want this for anybody else. And I definitely don't want it for my family. Alex Capriello, KXAN News. Shannar has been at Connolly High School in the Pflugerville ISD for more than three years, also working as a PE teacher. He previously coached at Stony Point High School in Round Rock. And last week, the Pflugerville ISD reported 44 new COVID-19 cases on its dashboard. That resulted in more than 500 people potentially being exposed to the virus. Taking a closer look at John Connolly High School, it reported three new cases last week. Two people infected are employees and one student has the virus tonight. They potentially expose close to two dozen people. And while we don't know how Todd Shonar contracted COVID-19, varsity sports were never paused in the Pflugerville ISD. And about two weeks ago, the district resumed junior varsity and co-curricular activities at the high school level. Pflugerville ISD says that it will reevaluate things if there's another spike in COVID-19 cases. The district tells us it already institutes one of the strictest safety measures. Spectators aren't allowed at games.